Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video and I wanted to continue my vlog series on getting ready for New York Art Expo, which is April 4th through 6th. I'm kind of getting down to the wire here. I have about 12 paintings done and I want to have somewhere around 15 to 18 paintings for Art Expo. Um, and I have probably about seven days to get them done. So I really gotta bust them out here over the next week. Uh, most of the, the smaller paintings are the only ones I have left to do. I've done most of the larger paintings. Uh, for this video, I wanted to talk about this painting that I'm working on now. Uh, I'm probably about 95% finished on this painting. Still have some detail stuff to do. Uh, I put it in the frame just to see what it would look like and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the meaning behind it. Usually I don't create videos to explain my paintings because I'd rather have the viewer um, kind of come up with their own ideas about the painting. So I'm not going to give you everything but I'll give you uh, some of the ideas behind uh, each element of the painting. First of all We've got the moody sky, um, but there's some important things about the sky to pay attention to. One is this cloud up here has a lot of more um, colorful aspects to it. Some light blues, some pinks and oranges and yellows. And that kind of makes the cloud a little more soft and welcoming rather than the stormy dark clouds. So the combination of the two is an important aspect to this painting. Next we have the cliff. Cliffs are, are very important uh, symbols in paintings because it's an end point to um, your travels. You can't go any further uh, unless you go over the cliff uh, or you can go back down. You know, cliffs have a lot of meaning to them. Uh, sometimes you reach the edge or um, you do things right up to a certain point and you have to make a decision on what to do next. That's kind of what a cliff represents. But there's a bridge here. It's a rickety old bridge with um, kind of just these rope handles and this little uh, fragile wooden walkway. So that's important too in this painting. Next we have this little town down below. Uh, it's kind of dissolving into the foggy clouds. Uh, we have a road going down and some, a few little houses, so it kind of represents a small town. Another important symbol in the painting. Uh, next we have all these little blackbirds and maybe they're crows or ravens. And blackbirds, this, just the color of them itself being black, uh, kind of has maybe a darker, uh, sinister kind of symbol to it and uh, can kind of create a more negative emotion rather than positive. So I have a white dove up here which kind of balances that um, and kind of makes you think about uh, the relation to the boy. Um, for an example, down below you could have the darker, scarier, sinister stuff and a bridge over it while the positive, hopeful thing watches over as he crosses the bridge. That's just kind of an idea that you might want to think about when looking at this painting. Then we have the boy who is kind of grasping his book bag, uh, kind of nervously rigid posture, and he's got this balloon that kind of represents childhood. And then we have his little puppy down here looking up at him, trying to decide what he's going to do next. So with all the symbolism here, you can kind of form an opinion of what the painting means. I don't want to give it all to you, but uh, it's a hopeful painting. It's not negative in any way, especially to me. Uh, it's more about crossing over into a new life or a new part of your life. Um, you know, the past, the scary part is down below. You know, you still have your, all, your little small town that you came from, the happy place, but maybe there's some baggage or negative things associated with it and you're leaving that to go to a new higher place but you still have parts of that old place watching over you as you venture on into a new life or era or part of your life. That's kind of the basic idea behind the painting. Not so specific but you can kind of uh, create your own ideas based on that 
or what the painting means. I'd like to hear what your opinion is of the painting and what it might mean to you. Uh, go ahead and leave some comments down below and I'll comment back and forth with you and we can talk about the symbolism and things like that. But it's really important when you do your own paintings. Uh, if you want to make a painting that has meaning to it, instead of being literal, it's good to have symbolism uh, because it makes people think uh, in a different way or approach the painting in a different way. If it's just right there, the whole message is literal, uh, then people just kind of look at it and say, oh, okay, that's what it means, and then move on. But if you have symbolism, kind of representing vague things, but putting all the symbols together to create a story, you get more emotional response from the viewer. So, something you might want to think about when you're creating your next painting. Right now, I gotta get back to painting because I only have like seven days to get four or five more paintings done before I head to New York. So I'm gonna make another video probably tomorrow. We'll throw uh, out some ideas about New York here in the last few days. But I thank you for watching my videos. And if you're in the New York area and you're coming to Art Expo, I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.